Hello guys, hope you're all doing well out there. Uh, just a quick little fault finding job today. The lady's called in a bit of a flap because she can smell burning and the sockets in the kitchen seem to have tripped or something not quite working very well with them. So I've got a feeling it's probably a burnt out socket or something like that. She said it first happened when she put the kettle on and a few other things running at the same time. So I'm gonna just jump in and see what it's all about. As always, smash a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and let's get into it. Hello guys! Right, well it's my turn to rant now. Let me tell you about what just happened, because this really frustrates me, and I want to know in the comments if you've experienced this too, because this is a tradesman's problem, and uh, I reckon it must happen to everyone at some point in their career, but it's not happened to me in a while, and it just riled me up so basically we got an urgent call from somebody a lady who was in a bit of a panic because her sockets were stopping working they tripped the electrics when she was using her kettle and she could smell a burning smell right so burning smell obviously electrics burning bad sign alarm bells start to ring so she did what she should do, she called an electrician. So I got this message come through from the office saying, um, can I put you through, can I put you through to this lady because she, it sounds quite urgent. Can you talk to her on the phone and see if you can sort something out quite quickly? So I spoke to her, she explained to me the situation and I'll get the message up that, um, that she left with the initial call so you can see what we're talking about here but basically it was you know it needed it needs sorting because there's a potential fire risk here so the the message let me just get it up here and i'll read it to you here's the message she left with the office urgent something strange keeps happening there's been a funny noise and a burning smell all appliances keep going off in the kitchen then entrance to the house, uh, blah, 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 yeah, that's it. So, alarm bells, all sockets and appliances keep going off. So there's a loose connection somewhere, basically, and it's arcing, hence the burning smell. So I asked the office to put her through to me, and I spoke to her on the phone, and I said to her, it sounds like there's a loose connection somewhere. It could be a fire hazard. I'll come out to you straight away, and I'll have a look. And she said to me, I've got to go out to work at one o'clock. So I said, well, it's, it's half past 10 now. I'll come straight away. I'll be with, with you within, within half an hour and I'll have a look at it. And for up to an hour of investigation, it will be this much, right? And for us, we just charge an hourly rate is our minimum charge of one hour. Uh, whether it takes 10 minutes or it takes an hour, we just charge that flat rate of an hour to cover our time and stuff. So, as soon as I said the price, she seemed a little bit like, oh, you know, and um, <laughs> oh, people like this really frustrate me because it's an, uh, it's an emergency, right? So, surely your life is more important than a few quid. So, she said to her, well, you know, can you guarantee that you'll fix... She said to me, can you guarantee that you'll fix it within, you know, wh when you get here? And I said to her, well, I can't guarantee that I'll fix it. I said, usually within the first hour, we can find out what the problem is. And if it's a simple problem, we can fix it within that hour. I said, probably it's a loose connection. I'll take off some covers. I'll probably find a loose connection somewhere and maybe I'll need to replace a socket or something like that because there's probably been some burning to the the wires and she was like oh uh, well you know um okay that's fine um yeah please come so i literally put my work clothes on because i was in just my office uh outfit shall we say and put my work clothes on stuck the gopro in my pocket because i thought it might make an interesting video and jumped into the car headed straight over there so I was there within half an hour, got out of the car, rang the doorbell 
and it's one of those ring video doorbells and you're like okay I'm being filmed here uh, and she answered the door and she was like didn't you get the message and I said what message and she said I just phoned your office to say don't come and I was like oh okay um, no sorry I didn't get that message why why did you not want me to come anymore and she said well because you said you were going to be here in 10 minutes and it's already been half an hour and I've got to get ready for work and anyway if you don't know that you can't that you can fix it then I'm not sure if there's much point in you being here so basically she's got arcing going on in her house potentially a fire could start at any moment and she's worried about the price I think that's what it comes down to and so she just told me to go home so she was like sorry um, I don't want you here um, turn around basically and tell me to go home which I did and you know me guys you know I don't get easily annoyed or anything uh, but I just felt annoyed and frustrated with her because she's just wasting my time when I was trying to be kind and helpful because if you see my schedule for today I have literally a flat out day in the office booked today I've got tons of paperwork to do quotes certificates EV grant applications, invoices, my day is slammed already. So I was doing her a favour coming out at the last minute urgently because I was genuinely worried about her. I didn't want her house to catch fire. Um, and then she just turns it back and throws it in my face basically. So yeah, a little bit annoyed. Um, and I think that what it comes down to with this particular lady, I don't think it was the fact that I was late because I wasn't late. I, I literally came straight over and I was there within half an hour, just like I'd said to her. So where she got the idea that I'd said I'd be there in 10 minutes, I have no idea. Um, I was there as quick as I could be. And I think it come down to the price at the end of the day. I think she phoned around after that and found somebody else who would come out and do it for half the price and that's and maybe they wouldn't be able to do it straight away but maybe they would come in a, in a few days and do it or something or in the evening and do it and she probably just wanted to save a few quid so there we go I've wasted an hour of my time because by the time I got ready drove over there, turned around, come back, an hour of my time is wasted and I just feel like I shouldn't have bothered. I shouldn't have bothered to change my plans for the day, I should have just said sorry we're too busy, go and find somebody else and that is my mistake and I am a bit too eager to try and help everyone sometimes when really I should just say no. Um, I'm a bit of a yes man and that is not always a good thing because you do get walked over sometimes if you're a yes man so life lesson that i've had to learn quite a few times and i keep having to learn it is learn to say no sometimes and it's funny because my wife she's amazing she's very patient with me but when i ran down the stairs to say I'm just going out to do an emergency job she was like why didn't you just say no <laughs> she's like you're too busy you shouldn't be doing that you've got other stuff you need to do why didn't you just say no and I was like yeah but it's an emergency and it's urgent and she's got a burning smell and the lady's a bit worried about it and I just want to help and she was like you should just say no <laughs> And there we go, she was right. So people, if you're watching this and you're an electrician, listen to your wife. Um, don't be a yes man, learn to say no, but obviously try and help customers and be there for them if they need it. But sometimes you will get walked over and let me know in the comments if you've experienced anything like this. If you had any last minute cancellations which have cost you time and money have you had disrespectful customers who don't appreciate your time going out of the way for them? Uh, I would love to know all your thoughts in the comments section 
as always, we do love to read your comments. And there's always some hilarious stories in the comments and things that you guys have experienced. So feel free to have a good old rant in there and let me know your customer cancellation stories. And if you've ever had a customer who tells you to go home, I would love to know. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. It's free and you'll get regular video updates from me. And thank you for watching.